The topic is magnetization in materials. All magnetic materials are affected by external magnetic field B vector. As the magnetic material acquires some magnetic moments or magnetic dipole moments which is denoted by small m vector. So, as the magnetic material has a property of, to get magnetized by the influence of external magnetic field B vector, they acquire some magnetic moments. That is called a magnetization of the material. As we know that the material consists of number of atoms. The atom consists of nucleus and electron that revolve in a circular orbit, some velocity v vector. And also the electron revolve around its own axis that is called electron spin. This means that the electron revolve around the nucleus as well as its own axis so that this revolving electron produce some magnetic field. That magnetic field is called internal magnetic field that is produced by the electrons inside the atoms. And this internal magnetic field is same as a circular current loop. In this, a small current loop in which a current is flowing in an anticlockwise direction so, the direction of the magnetic field is given by the right hand thumb rule. So, here I suffix B is called bound current that is bounded to the atom and B suffix I is the internal magnetic field. So, in this case the magnetic moment that is small m vector is equals to I suffix B into S unit normal where S is called the area of this small current loop. Now, when the magnetic material is placed in external magnetic field, it acquires a magnetic moment that is denoted by small m vector. Now, here we consider a magnetic material which having a volume delta V and we know that a magnetic material consists of n numbers of atoms and in n number of atoms there are n numbers of magnetic moments that is noted by small m vector. Since initially there is no external magnetic field that is B vector is equals to 0, the net magnetic moment is equals to 0, this is due to the random motion of the electrons inside the magnetic material. As soon as this magnetic material which has a net dipole moment equals to 0 is placed in the external magnetic field, all the dipole moments of the individual atom are more or less aligned with external magnetic field B vector. In this case, the net dipole moment of the magnetic material is not equals to 0. It has some value and due to this the magnetic material get magnetized and due to this we have to calculate the magnetization of this magnetic material. So, the magnetization of the magnetic material is denoted by capital M vector and its unit is ampere per meter. The magnetization of the magnetic material is m vector and it is equals to net dipole moment per unit volume as the volume tends to 0. So, the formula of magnetization m vector is equals to summation m suffix k vector upon delta v. Here the numerator is the net dipole moment for n number of atoms or electrons upon delta V as delta V tends to 0. So, this is a formula of magnetization that is net dipole moment per unit volume as a volume tends to 0. 
and its unit is ampere per meter because we know that the magnetic moment is equals to current into area that is unit is ampere meter square and the unit of volume is meter cube so we get a unit that is ampere per meter so we note that when there is no external field magnetic field there is no net dipole moment so there is no magnetization but when there is a external magnetic field there is a net dipole moment and there is a magnetization means when the magnetic material is placed in the external magnetic field the material get magnetized so we can say that the magnetic flux density in magnetic material increases due to magnetization so as we know that vector b is equals to mu not h vector that is the relation of magnetic flux density b vector and magnetic field intensity h vector in free space when we use a magnetic material the magnetic flux density increases due to the magnetization of the material so the magnetic flux density b vector is equals to mu not h vector plus mu not m vector and its unit is ampere per meter the first term is due to the free space and the second term is due to the magnetic material so here we take a mu not as a common so the magnetic flux density b vector is equals to mu not h vector plus m vector and we know that the b vector is equals to mu into h vector that is a magnetic flux density for any magnetic material here mu is equals to mu not into mu r this mu is called a permeability of the medium or material and its unit is henry per meter its value is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 henry per meter while this value mu is equals to mu not into mu r here mu r is called a relative permeability that is a dimensionless because here we take a ratio of mu upon mu not the unit is cancel we get a dimensionless and from here we can equate it that is mu not within bracket h vector plus m vector is equals to mu not mu r h vector so here we solve for magnetization m vector we get mu r minus 1 into h vector and here mu r minus 1 is equals to psi m this psi m is called a magnetic susceptibility of the material this is also a dimensionless value the psi m is called a magnetic susceptibility it measures how susceptible how sensitive the material is to the magnetic field b vector so when a magnetic material is placed in external magnetic field the magnetic flux density is increases due to the magnetization and this magnetization can be represented in terms of magnetic susceptibility that is denoted by psi m and this psi m is equals to mu r minus 1 so in place of mu r we can write 1 plus psi m now from the basic equation that is magnetic flux density b vector is equals to mu not h vector plus mu not m vector first term is due to the free space and the second term is due to the magnetic material and we know that the m vector is equals to psi m into h vector so in place of m vector we can write psi m into h vector and we take a common that is mu not n h vector after taking the common we get b vector is equals to mu not within bracket 1 plus psi m into h vector so in place of mu not into h vector we can write b not vector b not vector equals to mu not h this is simply a magnetic flux density in a free space so we can write b vector equals to b not vector into 1 plus psi m so this is about the magnetization of the material when the magnetic material is placed in the external magnetic field it acquires some magnetic momentum so due to that magnetic momentum the magnetic material get magnetized and due to this magnetization the magnetic flux density of the magnetic material is increased by mu not m vector and due to magnetization there is a magnetic susceptibility 
साइज ऑफ एक्स एम एंड दिस ससेप्टिविटी मेजर्स हाउ सेंसिटिव द मेटीरियल इज वेन प्लेस इन एक्सटर्नल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड मेटीरियल इज रिगार्डिंग टू द एक्सटर्नल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड 